Now this is the case uh, where I'm not seeing the kidney in the right lumbar region. See this is the liver, the liver is fatty, showing diffuse fatty liver which smooth out the surface. Okay, now I'm going to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. And I don't get the kidney anywhere in the lumbar region. This is the gallbladder. This region is the gallbladder. This is the portal vein. This is the diaphragm, right hemidiaphragm. And we do not see the kidney in the right lumbar region. Where is the kidney? Where is the right kidney? Where is the right kidney? Now when I move the probe down in the pelvic region, I see the kidney placed in the right number, uh, right pelvic cavity, right pelvic ectopic, ectopic and placed in the uh, pelvic region, right pelvis. Yes, below the right margin of the urinary bladder. This is the kidney measuring 5.9 into 2.8. Now this is a low-lying ectopic pregnancy, uh, ectopic kidney that is seen in the pelvic region and is not seen in the right lumbar region. This is the urinary bladder. You see, this is the urinary bladder. Well, this is the right kidney. Why right kidney? Because we took this kidney is absent uh, from the right lumbar region. We do not see any kidney over there. Kidney is absent from the lumbar region. Absent from the right lumbar region and is seen in the uh, you know, in the in the right pelvic uh, region. So uh, this is a topically. placed low down in the right pelvic region below we can see that it's below the uh, urinary bladder on the right side of the pelvis. Another thing is the size. Now its size, size uh, is uh, relatively smaller in uh, in non-mutual section and is normal in a zero posterior diameter. The parenchymal equigenicity is normal, central sinus psychocomplex is seen, no calculus is seen. So, now this is the kidney, the left side, this is normal. So this is a case of ectopically placed right kidney in the right pelvic region. Thank you.